Creating a mobile app has never been easier, but now using AI and AI code editors, everyone can actually build mobile apps. I have created several in-depth videos on this topic that how you can build full stack mobile applications using AI. You can have a look at this entire playlist where I share that how you can build mobile applications absolutely from scratch using AI without writing a single line of code by yourself. So creating a mobile app is not that difficult anymore. But the main question is how to monetize your mobile app, how to earn money from your mobile app. Now, to earn money from your mobile app, there are several ways. The first one is you can make your app a paid app. So let's suppose if you developed an app and now you publish that app on your app store. So now rather than letting users download your app for free, you can actually charge them money and make your app a paid app. So they can actually every time someone wants to download your app, they can actually pay some sort of amount to download your app. Now this method might not work for your app because not everyone is actually going to pay for your app. The second method is you introduce in-app purchases inside your app. So that means if you have like some sort of features that you want to hide behind a paywall, let's suppose if you're introducing an AI app, so you can allow users to download your app for free, but there are some features in your app that your users will have to pay for those features. Now this is a good method of monetization and it does work, but to achieve this and to make money out of this method your app should be a really good app with some good features that someone is ready to pay for your app the third method is running ad in your app now this can actually work for any sort of apps and games so let's suppose if you have a very basic to-do list app or maybe a calorie struck app you can monetize your app by simply displaying ads inside your app you can display banner ads interstitial ads or maybe rewarded video ads where you are rewarding users with some sort of maybe coins or maybe some sort of features after they watch a rewarded video now there is another way of monetization and that way is really unique and i have not seen something like this before i recently explored about this method and i was actually shocked by the amount of money that developers can make through this method. I'm talking about this packet SDK. So this is actually an SDK that you install inside your app. And from there, you can actually easily integrate and transform your daily active users into profit effortlessly. So this SDK supports a lot of platforms. So let's suppose if you're developing an app for Android or iOS or Windows, or maybe Android TV and even Linux, or maybe you're developing a game inside Unity, or maybe this LG Web OS. So all of these platforms are supported by Packet SDK. So if you're developing an app for any of these platforms, you can monetize your app using Packet SDK. But I think most of you might be interested in Android or iOS, or maybe in Unity games. So I'm actually going to give you a very brief introduction about Packet SDK, that how its monetization actually work so this is not something like in-app purchases or maybe displaying ads in your app this is kind of really different than all of the traditional monetization methods for your apps first let's just explore about this packet sdk and then i'll actually explain to you that how this sdk actually makes money for your app so whether you're developing a unity game or maybe a video player for desktop or maybe a daily planner app as long as you have daily active users Packet SDK can generate additional income for your app. Let me just show you how much money your app can actually make through this monetization method. So let's suppose if you have developed an Android app and your daily active users are up to maybe like 60,000 daily active users. This is by the way, a huge number. So if you have a 60,000 daily active users on any of your app or maybe collectively on your different apps and your most of your audience or you're like based out of United States and your daily active users are actually based out of this country. So this is the kind of money that you can actually make per year. That's like 756,000. By the way, with this kind of daily active users, you can definitely make a lot of money even in ad revenue. But with this monetization method, of course, you can make a lot more money. If you don't know what are your daily active users, so let me just explain to you. So let's suppose if your app was downloaded by 1 million people and out of those 1 million people, now most of people are not opening your app every single day. So maybe your daily active users out of those 1 million downloads is only 10,000 because only 10,000 people who downloaded your app, most of them uninstalled right after downloading. They realized that, okay, this app is not good enough. So they just uninstalled right after that. But there are like regular users of your app who open your app every single day. So they are your daily active users. So if you have daily active users of this much amount, you can actually earn 
this kind of money using this monetization method so let's just if you reduce daily active users to maybe like 3000 so then it can make you around 37800 dollars per year which is not bad at, at all here are the prices for top three countries by daily active user pricing so on number one there is america and you can actually get paid by per daily active user per month it will pay you 1.05 dollars now how it will pay and how this monetization works i'm actually going to explain to you in a minute but for now let's just understand that the most profitable audience right now is and always has been is united states then hong kong and then australia in my case i have published around more than 120 apps so far since 2015 and the if you have any sort of app that has American audience, that means now you are sitting on gold mine and even with simple ad revenue, you earn, uh, you earn like good kind of money. So just make sure if you wanna make more money, make sure that you develop an app that can attract more American audience. Okay, so now let's understand how this packet SDK actually work. So it has seriously revolutionized the app monetization because this is how it works. So first of all, this SDK gathers user IP address. So with user consent and in compliance with privacy standards, Packet SDK collects IP address data to optimize monetization opportunities. This data allows them to build a robust network while ensuring that user privacy is respected through encryption and secure data handling. So data collection aligns with global privacy regulations, which is like with GDPR and CCPA. So that means your app will not be flagged by any of the app stores. So it will be still in compliance with GDPR and CCPA. And also it helps developers to re maximize revenue through data driven insights, maintains user trust with transparency. Now here is the main point that how this app actually actually makes money. I mean, we know that it collects users IP address, but Packet SDK goes beyond traditional monetization models by incorporating affiliate marketing strategies. So your app becomes a hub for driving affiliate traffic. So that enables you to generate additional revenue streams without requiring extra work. So it leverages existing app traffic for affiliate partnerships. It provides diversified income sources and seamlessly integrates with your app's monetization ecosystem. So basically, once you integrate Packet SDK into your app, it will then drive affiliate traffic into your app. And that's how your app makes money. So this is just another way of monetizing your app on top of in-app purchases, ad revenue, and then you can actually integrate Packet SDK into your app that can actually drive affiliate traffic into your app and then generate extra revenue for your app. Now, let me just show you that how easy and simple it is to integrate Packet SDK into your app. First thing that you need to do is just go to packetsdk.com and from here, you can simply just log in and sign up using your simple Gmail account. Once you can actually click on the link that I have provided in description and then you can start using Packet SDK directly from there. Once you have signed in, simply just click on this dashboard button from here and then it will open this dashboard for me. But to create an app, what you have to do, you can simply just click on this apps tab and from here, just click on this add app button and from here you can actually choose your required operating system so let's suppose if you're developing an app for android for ios maybe for windows just choose your required operating system just select that and after that just give your app a name so maybe carvis tracker and just give your app a name and from here just show your daily active users maybe 100 this is what you're like expecting and from how many monthly estimated installation you're actually expecting so maybe 1000 and after that just simply click on this create app button and from here you can see this is the information that it will display first of all it will allow you to download the sdk so you can simply just click on this button download button from here and then it will download this android package for you and you can find all of the sdk integration related files in there so you can actually explore that and how to use those files you can simply just click on this implementation docs and then it will actually guide you step by step that how to now implement that downloaded file that you just downloaded and you can see in here you can just copy your packet sdk version j r j a r file into your libs directory so whenever you create your android project there is a libs directory you need to just like understand a bit more about the file structure all you have to do you can simply just like replace that packet underscore sdk that version 
build.jar file into your libs directory and then you can select the lib path in app slash build.gradle file and then after that step two is then configure permissions so it will require some permissions you can just like give this permission and this permission is permission dot android or permission dot internet this will be in android manifest dot xml file so you can if you're an android developer you know that already if you don't know that we can simply just like provide this to cursor and ask cursor to make these changings for you but this is the quick integration this is the main integration that you can simply just provide your app key in here and then you can simply just like display that inside your app this is the app key that you can actually use inside your code so this is your code and you can see right here this is the app key that you can use this app key in there and from here once you have done that that's it now uh, it will actually automatically start earning based on the total daily active users your app has so let's suppose if you had i don't know like uh, we saw like how much money it will earn if you had 3000 daily active users so it will actually start displaying stats in here after 24 hours so you can actually see how much money your apps have made uh, you can see all of that in here because i just like created this fresh account and then i create like integrated in some of my existing apps so then after that uh, after 24 hours it will actually start displaying this uh, all of the earned money in here and then to pay out there is a very simple method the withdrawal period is from first to fifth of uh, every month and the minimum withdrawal threshold is fifty dollars so once you reach fifty dollars only then you can actually do your payout so this is a new way of monetization it is different than the traditional ads revenue the most popular one that i have been using in my apps is ads revenue so in all of my apps and games we display banner ads interstitial ads and that actually actually affect user experience so the user actually gets annoyed but still that is still the main source of revenue in most of my apps so this new monetization method actually allows us to earn bit more revenue you can explore more about this method and if you want i can actually create a dedicated video integrating packet sdk into a proper maybe android or ios app the integration process is absolutely simple and very self-explanatory if you just like open the documentation you will automatically understand how to integrate that into your project but still if you have any further questions just leave a comment in comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.